is Crazy Ivan here, and today I'll be bringing to you the game between Vortex and Bunny. Uh, this is the game uh, from the ladder, I guess. And the most important thing is uh, that this game um, is the first game in 2013 I'm casting. So this is the pretty new um, kind of experience in this year for me. As since the beginning of this year, I haven't done any uh, cast at all. So we've got Vortex spawning in a bottom right position of, of Entombed Valley. Uh, we can see how his drones are working. That's pretty cool. And uh, uh, in the left bottom corner, we've got Bunny from Team Vega Squadron. Uh, the, this, the, the Vega Squadron, I guess, is the the clan or better to call it the team which placed on the first spot in ESL I guess um, so this game should be pretty pretty good uh, as you can see there's a Rax uh, not on the ramp so Bunny is not walling this off uh, at all um, I'm pretty pretty uh, I'm pretty curious what we'll see right now uh, we see that vortex sent his first overlord uh, to the wrong spot so he will not see uh, where bunny is uh, he's also in the drone scouting he's just going for this uh, hatch first opening which is pretty pretty damn safe on this map unless you're dealing with some kind of three racks or um, two racks uh, proxy two racks lin uh, well f from for now there's nothing um, there's nothing extraordinary extraordinary uh, in what the players are doing now we've got a spawning pool from vortex the racks are finished for a uh, bunny and we also uh, will see the expansion for the Terran player as well very very soon uh, first marine is going on a field as well as the orbital command is morphing we've got more and more drones from vortex as he can't make any links uh, for now we've but we've got um, faster gas and this is pretty cool um, this could be uh, an indicator for roaches for bait links and speed links so I'm pretty curious what we will see now from Vortex uh, he moved his overlord to the left uh, the, the first overlord which is in a, on the top in the top of the map uh, but we, he will check this bottom left position just in a moment uh, with the second overlord so he will perf perfectly know where his opponent is and he'll be able to position his overlords uh, adequately to where the uh, danger can come from we've got one gas also from uh, vortex as well uh, from, from bunny excuse me as well as two more racks and a reactor so this looks like um, this looks like this may be some kind of timing, maybe he'll transition it to the Hellions later on as he's still gathering gas, uh, he's not stopping on this, the expansion is already done for Bunny uh, as well as for Vortex, uh, we've got two queens and this is pretty pretty nice, he uh, made this expansion first so he was able basically to make two queens at once and he's making two more queens and the metabolic boost so this is pretty nice and we've got a factory from bunny so this will be reactor hellion opening uh, this is pretty cool pretty cool but looks like uh, but looks like um, vertex will be perfectly ready for what is coming at him uh, he makes uh, two more queens so he'll be able to defend uh, these creep tumors and the entrance to the base pretty damn efficiently now we've got vertex who will get this third base will he I think he will. Yeah, looks like he's going to grab the third uh, without making basically any any units, and he's making this pretty pretty nice wall off with Evo chambers. This is pretty nice. Uh, we don't have the second investment geyser yet. This uh, this injection is pretty damn late. Uh, from Vertex, from Bunny, we've got the um, combat shield research. So this is pretty. T this is very very important as you're playing turn against uh, Zerg because Zerg very very li likes a lot um, going for Bane links and uh, well against Bane links you need as much life as you have uh, so I think that there will be starport very very soon on the map uh, 
as well as uh, the, the steam pack research just after uh, combat shield and this is pretty nice going for combat shield, shield first instead of rushing for uh, rushing for uh, the mm, uh, the uh, steam pack uh, simply because you can make a timing with this the timing is uh, a lot earlier than uh, than steam pack it's around uh, i don't know maybe let, let me just check it it's 110 to 117 so this is one minute of difference and as we can see bunny is going to hit the combat shield timing on vertex and this could be really painful as he this vertex doesn't have too much units he's got eight links that's all and they're coming at him 21 marines six hellions so this looks very very bad for vertex right now and i'm very curious what will he do bending nest is done for bending are being morphed 16 more zerglings making it away on the field but these hellions are just blocking off any kind of uh, mining here and oh my god so many drones are dying these queens are gonna die as well now links and bendings are getting in killing most of marines very good connections but still we've got a couple two marines and two hellions uh, making a little bit of mess here uh, but looks like vortex defended it but wow these he, he lost so much i mean this is 23 workers killed for for bunny and wow this trade was really really good for him right now vortex needs to do something he's got three bases okay but in total he has four queens and this is not really good if you want to have a queen and to inject and to defend against hellions and marines at the same time and as, as i said steampunk is coming double engineering bay uh, so this will be nice uh, but th the good thing for vortex though is that he didn't stopped his upgrade so he has one one links uh, against zero zero marines and hellions of his opponent well now we've got another hellion but a siege tank so looks like bunny is preparing for some kind of all in uh, from vortex uh, he's making a siege tank uh, to have this huge huge splash advantage uh, while vortex is just macroing up a little bit uh, he's not making all a lot of drones but uh, he's saturated his natural again pretty good pretty good now now he will i guess move to the third base and saturate this as well but for now we've got only 20 more links and uh, wow and the centrifugal, centrifugal hooks on the way as well as plus two zealot melee, atta melee attack so this is pretty damn cool uh, we will see some uh, six sig bindings uh, here ladies and gentlemen and now this expansion the third base from bunny is denied by this creep for a little bit but this is not a big big of a deal uh the big bigger deal is that bunny right now doesn't know about the force that's coming at him and a lot of zerglings are getting in and bendings will they connect they're going straight on it no they missed they're not going on a tank oh my god they're rushing for the Marines. I think that that was a big mistake and well played from Vertex and Bunny defending this push from his opponent with 100 supply, with 50 supply advantage. Well, I think that Vertex could have wait. The plus two melee attack for Zerglings was done, yet more and more Marines were just storming in. And well, I, I think that leaving these two tanks for themselves not killing them was crucial here these tanks seven kills and 15 kills so this is this makes of 22 zerglings and beanings killed only by these tanks and this is really really big we've got we see that there are a couple of reinforcements here but to be honest i don't know why why vortex just didn't wait a little like 30 seconds more to to, to have this plus two down this is very disappointing in my opinion but well thank you for tuning in i hope you like this game and uh, in the future i'll be doing a lot of this stuff weekly basically so uh, stay tuned have a hand on the have a hand on the pulse uh, for unis gaming and see you guys next time